Great. Okay, so I'll just uh, remind a little bit what we what we already done. So we all done a circles in size of the cup, circle in size of inside the shape, yeah, and the outside shape. And finally, on this uh, circles we based to make the shape, uh, the outerior shape of the of the cup, yeah, the coffee cup, yeah. And then we are going to <coughs> use. Uh, Revolve to make a shape. Yeah, revolve using shift. Yeah, shift is blocking in one di in one direction. Yeah, so I press shift to block it, and then go straight to full circle to, to make a circle. Yeah, to make a, to make it round. Uh, I, I press something wrong. Uh, not here, in the middle, and full circle like that. And now I have to find the the height of the of the of the cut cut it uh, angle. So I'm going. I know this this uh, this uh, size, which is 15. So I'm going from here, from this point, writing writing 50, and then going here to this point to midpoint. Look here, midpoint, and then just press the tap to block to block in this direction. So if I press tap. The line gets gets right and then it's blocked. Whatever I do, it goes that only one direction. Okay. <clears throat> and now I can just cut it straight like this, losing trim. Yeah, look. It's trimmed in this uh, in this direction. Yeah? So now I am just uh, pressing I'm just uh, putting cap uh, uh, function which is already in shape of the cup. What I'm, what I need to do now. Now I have to find where is the inside hole placed. Yeah, how to do it? Because it's it's not central placed. Yeah, it's a little bit moved out of the center. How to do it? So before I do it, I told you later uh, earlier about the cut it. Uh, cut it mm, uh, place here and how to do it. So I, pref uh, I prefer now first to find the this hole. This hole gives me actually the the, the size of the, the cutting area. Yeah. So first I will just measure the hole. So how to do it? I'll just measure this because I know the I know that that size. Yeah. So I have to just measure the size. <coughs> inside here which is 9 and then <coughs> and then I'm going to make a, from this point look from the highest uh, from the highest point here I block here I'll just press here move to top view and then write 9 dimension and place it with shift in this direction, yeah? I've got it. So what to do now? You see, I've got this this dimension here. So now I have to find what's the, what's the size of, uh, of this uh, circle. I just measure it, yeah? Using this kind of measurement idea. So this is about 52. So now I'm going to circle, but not, not making from center, making from outside point. Yeah, so I'll find this point here. Go to top the top view, write 52. Uh, remember, diameter, not radius. And um, something is wrong, probably a little bit bigger. Yes, 57, not 50. 57 yes and now press uh, and now press in the right direction and look what what, what happened yeah so now I need to know how deep it goes inside yeah uh, so I have to uh, just measure it yes how using this killing knife here uh-huh Mm. 
like this. And it's 6. So now I have to extrude this circle, look, straight, one side, in a little bit more than 6, because this is, look, 6 must be from, from this point here, here. So I have to find this point, so I will better find, I will better check my measurement and go from, let's say 7. Seven, but not this direction so it's gonna be minus seven because I'm going down so this is uh, basically it yeah so what to do now now I have to cut it but not using trim using boolean difference yeah so this is uh, first set of poly poly surfaces and then this is second yeah and this is cut it hmm? So what I need to do now, now I need to cut this is, uh, planar shape here. How to do it? No, just easy, yeah? going from this point here, uh, making line, not from this point, from that point. See here, looking at uh, the same time, looking here, if I'm in, a, in the center, in, a, in the middle of the circle, and then making straight line here. Yeah? So this gives me uh, well, if I extrude it, this gives me extruded both sides, but direction in this direction, yes. Look what I've done. Now I can cut it, yes. I can cut this hair like that, like that. You see? And on the other side, I can do it the same. Or I can find, if I, can, if I cannot do it with a cup. I'll just write the cup here, cup. I've done it, yeah? Cup, which is this one. Cup is just a, uh, just a surface in a place where was the planner hole, yeah? It's already actually done, isn't it? All what I need to do now is to work out the details, yeah? which is the small hole in here, inside, yeah? So how to do it? How to set up the hole? So look at your, cu look at your cups and find, that find out that this is the small hole is uh, placed, placed just in the middle of the, of the space between the circles, yeah? So look at, look at how I'm doing it. I, I will just measure with my measure scale. What's the size of it? So let's say it's it's four and a half. So I will just set the uh, four and a half and white four and a half and eleven. So what I have to do is just to put the rectangle. From circle, from center, but I have to find a center. But anyway, I'll just make rectangle, which is four and a half and eleven. We're gonna be. F uh, it's not gonna be four and a half because I'm going to the from the length would be eleven. No, length will be five. Five uh, doesn't matter. I'll just make normal. So four uh, and a half and eleven. This is my shape. So how to set up the shape in the, in, the, in the middle here? It's simple. Look, just take this, uh, uh, select the uh, rectangle, go to the move modificator, set up in the middle, but the middle have to be turned on. Yeah, the snapping point have to be turned on. Then I can grab the middle, yeah? So dra grab the middle, use shift, block it with the top, when the when the when the uh, white line appears, it means that this is the the move the the moving way the moving uh, direction is blocked. And now I can now uh, align with the middle of the each circle. Yeah. And what to do now? Now to do this, I will do the same. We press the move button, and then go in the middle. Yeah. 
and block it with tab. And what to do? I don't have a information. I do have. I have a, a surface which has middle in, in here. Yeah. So it's already Wait, placed. What button did you block it? What? How? With what? what uh, tap. If I if I uh, hold sh uh, shift and uh -huh. press tap and and release them, they are blocked. So now I can just need to uh, just need to make a round, make the whole round. Yes. Yeah? So what? How to do? I can place my uh, because this is round. This is part of the, this is circle here. So I can make the circle here. <coughs> how to make it? Simple. by using three point uh, creating, yeah? Look, I've made three point creating here, this one. But the first point must be the middle of this line, yeah? You understand? But not, it's not actually there. Uh, so the second way is to use this as the exterior points, yeah, like that. And then move these points from the uh, from the end of it using shift and tap and releasing from uh, from here shift tap and align with this line yeah and then just mirror this circle on the other side like that using mirror and then we have to cut it so I will select all of the objects on the stage and then cut it with the <clears throat> and when I finish, I go straight to the join. What to do now? Now I just need to use a trim tool. Here we are. It's finished. <coughs> uh, I actually don't need to. You don't need to make this uh, uh, these names of the company here, but we can make the small uh, buttons, yeah, here, which uh, they are uh, they are telling us what what uh, contains what is uh, what this cut contains. So it's easy. We just need to. Uh, I'll just save my work. Let's say cup coffee. Okay, uh, we do need, we do it now. We do it uh, because this is not centered. This the the the, the 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 buttons are not centered. So we will center center them. How to do it? Uh, look now. I have to do the. Sphere, yeah, just a sphere. Where? Somewhere here, for example. Well, doesn't matter where. <coughs> I've got them like that. So now, look, <coughs> if you take this sphere and you have to, uh, as the, at the same time, look at the perspective window. So if I am just uh, grab the sphere and move it down, yes, look what happens. Yeah, it goes inside. Yeah, so I will just need to be a little bit more in in in, in deep. Yeah, look. I think it's I think it's a little bit too much inside. So I just turn it back. That's great. That's exactly what I need. And what to do now? Am I in the center? Yes. But all I need to do is to be a little bit closer to this edge. So I have to uh, move it into the the top window. So if I move it into the top window, the, I have to then uh, put it back a little bit because this surface is uh, angled in in angle, yeah, in angle. Now I think it's is is okay. A little bit maybe this um, this shape is a little bit too big. So I will just move it back and resize it a little bit using center point. <coughs> 